Imagine a land where glaciers crawl, oceans glow, and the wildlife seems to have been drafted straight from a science fiction script. That place is Alaska, and over just the last couple of field seasons, researchers, fishermen, and the occasional drone pilot have stumbled onto creatures so bizarre they make Bigfoot look predictable. Tonight we're counting down some of the strangest recent finds, from a carnival of glacier dwelling worms to a deep sea golden egg that still has the best minds at NOAA scratching their heads. Strap in because every stop on this tour gets a little weirder, a little deeper, and a whole lot colder. Picture a glacier erupting in a living, wiggling carpet. Every February, the town of Cordova throws a goofy ice worm festival to celebrate Alaska's tiniest cold weather mascot. Ice worms normally come out only at dusk, wiggling along the ice to graze on algae, then they dive back underneath before they literally melt in warmer air. But during one stretch in 2024, drones over Matanuska Glacier caught millions Millions, yes, millions of these noodles partying on the surface all day long. Unbroken cloud cover kept the ice right at the worm's sweet spot temperature, so they had a 24 hour buffet. Researchers counted up to 50 worms per square foot, the biggest worm gathering anyone's ever recorded. Locals joked that the worms, quote, upstaged the northern lights, and honestly, seeing a glacier coated in living spaghetti is something you definitely never forget. Biologists are still running numbers to figure out whether climate change, cooler, cloudier summers in that region might make mega blooms the new normal. Either way, the ice worm just went from quirky mascot to headline act. You're 2,300 feet down, the light switches on, and a see-through torpedo glides past, eyes the size of golf balls. During NOAA's 2023 Seascape Alaska mission, a remotely operated vehicle, or an ROV, cruising the Aleutian Trench bumped into a young glass squid. The animal looked like a floating crystal, its insides shining silver under the sub's lights. Instead of darting off, it did slow, lazy barrel rolls as if checking us out. Those oversized lime green eyes, perfect for soaking up the tiniest glimmer of light. Its fins act like sails so it can drift without flashing bioluminescence and giving away its position. Scientists had a field day because the footage stretched this squid's known range by about 600 kilometers and showed it thriving in water just a hair above freezing. Deep sea rookies now learn about ghost mode squid on day one thanks to these clips. Deep sea explorers expected rocks, what they netted looked like a gold leaf Easter egg. On August 30th, 2023, NOAA pilots steering an ROV over a Gulf of Alaska seamount spotted a perfect golden brown dome stuck to the rock. When the robot's claw poked it, the orb peeled right off, showing a paper thin shell with faint blood vessel lines. No bones, no yolk, no obvious baby creature inside. Back on deck, microscopes said, huh, maybe jellyfish tissue, but the DNA results have been maddeningly vague. Some experts think it's an egg case from a never before seen species. Others say it could be a piece of weird sponge or even a jelly that lost its tentacles. Until those lab results drop, this unidentified golden specimen is literally just a giant question mark in a petri dish. Proof that two miles down we're still tripping over everything. Imagine a bouquet of ping pong balls, each one designed to eat. ROV dives along the Aleutian slope filmed what looks like a creepy deep sea Christmas tree, a stalk covered in bright white spheres. Meet the ping pong sponge. Each ball is lined with tiny velcro style hooks. When shrimp or krill bump the surface, the sponge snaps shut slowly but surely and digests the victim alive. Biologists used to think this meat eating sponge lived only in warm seas, but here it was chilling literally at an icy two degrees Celsius. Brittle stars love to perch on the stalks and grab leftovers, so the whole setup looks like a bizarre underwater buffet line. The takeaway? Sponges aren't always passive filter feeders, some are full-time ambush predators that make even sharks look a little lazy. A fish the size of a golf ball lights up like a neon sign when scientists shine blue light. Pacific
specific spiny lump suckers look like someone stuck googly eyes and fins onto a suction cup. They're round, slow, and cling to kelp using a sticky belly disc. During a 2022 Prince William Sound study, researchers discovered something new. Under special blue lights, the males glow bright red and the females glow green. That glow likely helps them find each other for late night dating since the ocean can stay pitch black for months in the winter. Because no other arctic fish has shown biofluorescence, scientists now wonder how many secret light shows are happening beneath the waves that we just can't see. Forget fireflies, Alaska's glow party is underwater and apparently it's invitation only. Meet the sleeper shark. Big as a school bus and possibly older than your entire family tree. Pacific sleeper sharks look sluggish. Big gray tubes gliding at walking speed, but they play the long game. Using eye lens chemistry, basically carbon dating eyeball proteins, a 2024 NOAA team aged one female at roughly 380 years old. That means she was already patrolling Alaska's fjords when Bach was still playing the harpsichord. These sharks move so slowly, less than one knot, that their muscles barely burn energy and the oil in their massive livers makes them nearly odorless to top predators. That stealth mode plus cold water seems to stall aging. The catch? If one gets snared in a fishing line, you could erase three centuries of history in a single day. New talks are underway to tighten deep water fishing rules because nobody wants to wipe out the ocean's senior citizens. 200 miles offshore, a canyon wall looks fuzzy, and then it blinks. An ROV dropped into Noise Canyon and later Gumby Ridge. Both times, the cameras lit up what seemed like pink fuzz on the rocks. Zoom in. Hundreds of mama mus octopus octopuses, each glued to the rock, gently fanning grape-sized eggs with their arms. They don't eat the whole time, up to a year and a half, so talk about dedication. And why crowd together like this? Tiny heat leaks from the seafloor keep the spot a couple of degrees warmer than the surrounding water. Basically an undersea nursery with free central heating. Seeing two of these daycare centers wrecked the old idea that deep sea octos are solitary. It's more like a neighborhood playgroup where every mom shows up at once, sacrifices dinner, and waits for the kids to hatch. Sonar shows a single wobbling strand climbing 600 feet off the seabed. No branches, no break. South of Kodiak Island, a survey ship's sonar painted a thin, wavy line rising straight up from the mud. Curious, the crew nicknamed it the Noodley Line and sent an ROV to check it out. Visibility was terrible, but lasers measured slow pulsing, almost like a heartbeat. Best guess? A siphonophore, a colony of jellyfish-like clones chained together, possibly longer than a blue whale. What's wild is that later sonar passes showed it had grown by several yards meaning it builds new sections on the fly. Until a clean sample is taken, the ocean equivalent of threading a needle, fishermen mark the spot to avoid netting a creature as tall as a skyscraper. A slick black and white seal pops up way south of where anyone expected to see one. Ribbon seals usually stick to solid arctic ice, sporting bold white ribbon stripes like they're ready for a fancy gala. But in January 2025, researchers in a small skiff near the Gulf of Alaska Alaska found an adult male hanging out in open water with zero pack ice around. They tagged him and learned he was diving a thousand feet deep for nearly 20 minutes at a time. Could be a new record for the species. Why so far south? The winter ice sheet that year was one of the smallest ever measured, so the seal followed the food instead of the ice. The takeaway is very simple. As the climate warms and ice thins, ribbon seals may have to reinvent how they live, turning from ice loungers into ocean nomads. Deep in the Bering Sea, cameras find a crystal goblet growing its own barbed wire. On the slopes of the underwater Pip volcano, an ROV's lights bounced off something that looked like a fancy glass harp. It was actually a brand new type of glass sponge. Think sea-going chandelier. 
Its silica strings catch passing plankton, while sharp spines discourage anything from chewing on it. Genetic tests put it in a family so new it had to be named. Tiny lobsters and juvenile rockfish hide in its lattice like apartment tenants, turning one sponge into a high-rise condo in the dark. Even cooler, the area has natural chemical leaks, making the water more acidic than normal. Most glass structures dissolve in acid, yet this sponge is thriving, hinting it might be tougher than scientists assumed. In other words, Mother Nature's crystal instruments can play through some pretty harsh notes. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livy Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.